Hey guys, what's up? Rob with One Star Reviews. Thank you so much for watching. It is Saturday night. Hope you're having a great weekend. Tonight we're going to review the DK Stack Burger, and this is the Bacon Double Deluxe. All right, this is it right here. I paid for the combo. I think the burger itself is like seven. Sixty-nine or something like that with a combo. It was nine dollars and eighty-nine cents. So you get the burger with a side of fries and then a, I guess a medium soft drink. I got a Coke. Nine eighty-nine, man. That's a that's not cheap. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna answer a couple of questions. One is this: Is Dairy Queen? What's Dairy Queen doing? Right? Are we doing burgers again? Is this a new good thing for them, or should they? Uh, you know, go back to just making ice cream and stuff like that. So, and number two, of course, is this going to give any competition to McDonald's, Burger King, um, who else is in the area? Sonic. And of course, when I saw the menu today, it looked a lot like a Culver's menu, right? So Culver's moved in here a couple years ago. Culver's is my favorite uh, burger in this area. I mean, I know I love, I'm an In-N-Out fan, big fan of In-N-Out Burger, but in the Southeast, Culver's is king, in my opinion. So, does this burger give Culver's or any of those other fast food places competition? Now, for nine eighty nine, man, this better be good. I mean, it's on the high end, right? It's it's in that Culver's price range. So, I better be talking like Samuel Jackson in Pulp Fiction at the end of this. I better be saying, <laughs> this is a tasty burger, right? I'm not gonna do the whole the whole accent, but here it is, right here. Um, let me let me pull this thing out. I mean, already a you know a big wilted piece of lettuce right on the top. So this is kind of reminding me of the old Dairy Queen, right? Uh, Dairy Queen used to make hamburgers too, and they they still make really good chicken strips. But they used to make hamburgers back in the day, and I'll tell you, I'll give you an example in a second. But let me let me not talk about the bad stuff. Let's let's talk about the new Dairy Queen. Now, like I said, they got a new menu. They got a whole bunch of these stack burgers you know there are, there's like jalapeno ones spicy barbecue i think but there's just all different kinds and they come in like double patty or triple patty so this one's a double patty um these patties are really tiny like you can't even see them right hardly hardly see them all right so there's two patties in here there's bacon uh pickles onions lettuce and there's a tomato in there somewhere. Okay, it's a little bit smaller than what you would see at Culver's, right? This is a direct comparison, in my opinion, to the double the deluxe, double bacon deluxe at Culver's. And y'all see my video? If you haven't seen my video, watch that one. That one is, man, Culver's. Anyway, without further ado, this is the Stack House. I think is it called Stack House? Stack Burgers, something like that, from Dairy Queen. It's got some ooh. It's got some like uh I don't know what kind of cheese that is. It might be pepper jack or something. It might have two kinds of cheeses on here. Looks like American cheese and then maybe something else. Alright, let's take a bite. Okay. The bun is just like your regular butter bun it's not bad okay that wasn't bad let's take another bite now i used to also eat the cheeseburgers at dairy queen those were pretty good but their large ones or deluxe ones they were they were not good okay this was not bad this is not bad at all. I can taste the cheese. Can't see anything in here, but I'm trying to get you closer. Let me get you closer. I mean, don't look bad. All right, last bite. <clears throat> now the lettuce is so-so, right? But then again, who cares about lettuce, right? As long as it looks good. The tomatoes in here, not bad. Got some onions, and like I said, I think there's there's two layer there's two layers of cheese here. This could be like a Monterey Jack or something, you know, a little lighter. Right? You make the you make the judgment. 
Could be Monterey Jack, could be Pepper Jack or something like that. Okay, one more bite, one more bite, guys. Okay. All right, here's my take. I think DQ should continue innovating on burgers. I think they should, they're back. They're back in the burger game. I'm telling you, like, I pulled into this new Dairy Queen down the street, and there's, like, you know, the, the cars are almost wrapped around the building for whatever reason. I don't know what they're getting, but they put a huge emphasis on new um, new menu items. All these hamburgers. They got chicken. I saw a fish one that I'm going to do. I think they got hot dogs. They got a bunch of stuff. So is this burger really good? I mean, I like it. I like this burger a lot. Is it better than Culver's? No way. Not a chance. Culver's is still king here. Um, so, but this burger is really good. So if you don't have a Culver's or, you know, whatever. Now, does this beat like a Big Mac? I think it does. I think it beats a Big Mac. And depending if you like that whole Burger King, you know, that burger, the Whopper type thing. I mean, this is a pretty solid burger. Now, would I pay seven bucks for this burger? Um, no, I would definitely not spend seven bucks on this burger. This whole combo is nine dollars, right at ten dollars, right nine eighty nine or something like that. It's a ten dollar meal from Dairy Queen. Now, I didn't try the fries yet, so I may as well do that since we're talking about the rest of their stuff. Now, Culver's Culver's fries are awesome. They're crinkle cut. These look like regular fries. Let me see. They're a little cold, so I gotta like adjust my taste buds. The fries are not bad. The fries are not bad. I mean, they're not like terrible. They're not like Burger King fries, okay? They're not McDonald's fries. Crystal fries have gotten better across the board. Um, but these are right in the middle. They're right in the middle, they're average. Again, would I spend 10 bucks here if there was a Culver's down the street or a cookout down the street? The answer is no, okay? But if Dairy Queen's all you got, I would definitely get this burger. It's it's pretty good. It's a pretty good burger. Um, it's not the greatest in the world, but it's pretty good, okay? So I'll give it a recommend on the taste. I'll give it a recommend on the, the overall presentation. The fries are pretty good. Would I... What I would not recommend is just the price, right? So if you've got other options, this is on the high end of the scale. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to try some more Dairy Queen stuff. I'm going to try that fish sandwich pretty soon. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what else you want me to review there. And guys, just share your thoughts, okay? Uh, thanks so much for watching. This is Rob with One Star Reviews. Stay safe. God bless you. Do yourself a favor. Love your neighbor. And I'll see you next time.